Hello and welcome to the second feature match of the evening. My name is Cosme, and who do I've got with me on stream tonight? Whenever you're ready. Hi, it's Talia. It's Talia and others. Again. We've got two more. Don't be shy. Oh, I'm I'm here. Stacks here. The the winner of we we know you just rolled one video into another. The algo fed you the second video. Yeah, this is, this is the next video. This is the next video in the playlist. So we've got uh, we got Lil Willie, winner of uh, the exact same matchup uh, that we just watched, and uh, and Taylor, the loser, unfortunately, of the matchup that we are also about to watch. Uh, hey, hey, loser! But a, but a winner in our hearts. A winner in our hearts, of course, as as ever. Um, so I think this is going to be an interesting uh, variation on the, the same matchup uh, as the deck lists. Um, are slightly different this time. Um, I would say, most interestingly, Matt uh, does not have the killer card that we saw in the game uh, uh, and Taylor and and Lil Willie's game of Torpor Orb in the sideboard. Um, a real, uh, the People's Champ Torpor Orb. The People's Champ Torpor Orb. And, yeah, um, that was a big one. That and, was a big one. And I think if... Uh, if Caleb wins a die roll, these main deck Chalcid Lloyds might also prove um, pretty interesting. Oh. Um, also, no gloom. No gloom. no gloom. They definitely don't have any dedicated hate cards. I think they're... No gloom? Like they're trying... I mean, what's this guy going to... This guy's, this guy's in trouble. Yeah. I had to guess, I would guess they're trying to pivot into more of a tempo plan against um, initiative with Brazen Borrowers and Dismembers, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, three Dismembers, that's good. Yeah. The Dismembers do, do matter. Like, clearing blockers makes... Um, it, it, like... This this I didn't really super come up in in Taylor and I's games, but like, there is a world where the initiative deck or the uh, the the eight cast deck can kind of just like flood a board, and then the initiative deck will have a real problem like holding on to the initiative. But yeah, we definitely saw uh, the we didn't see the decks where you would have had a lot of creatures from Psy or uh, right exactly an early flyer or something. Yeah, so. Definitely feels like that's that's very much on the menu. Quite possible. Keep the chatter going. I'm gonna go grab myself a beer. It's gonna be real painful to see uh, Caleb's four main deck chalices pay off again. I know in our matchup, the that seemed like a real liability game one, and then he won the die roll, and they looked great. So. Uh, Gonna be bummed if that wins him another round. But it's you know. legacy. It's all about the lock pieces and stuff. And sometimes bad guys win. That's true. And you hate to hear it, but But you're the you're the good you're the good guy of our matchup, I think. I don't know. We'd have, well, to, we'd have to pull I'll the see. audience. Yeah, exactly. We should do a bad guy ranking of, of lords. <laughs> of specifically this league, I think. Now that, uh, now that we're being uh, recorded, I think we should uh, all be on record. Of <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's ranking your, lords in hateability? Who's the worst person that we associate with regularly? Oh, God. We were just talking about Al, weren't we? Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh! Matt didn't practice his die rolling skills. He's in so much trouble. Caleb has been in the hyperbolic time chamber. Oh, and we get to see the most disgusting way to draw cards of all. Yeah, time. that is really triggering. Now that I have to watch it as a commentator. Well, so we, um, we still have resolved mulligans here. Oh my. I, this is interesting. This is actually really interesting. Um, I have to imagine... Huh. 
I think both players are going to keep, but it's hard to tell decisively. This is a really weird hand for Caleb specifically. For Matt, I this do, hand I do think Matt should keep, yeah. Yeah, this hand it's, has to look It's got a lot of d duplicate <laughs> legendaries, which is not ideal, but like I do think just like keeping any counter magic is the most important thing in this matchup. Especially if you're on the draw. Yeah, and like, this hand is counter magic plus turn one Emery, which is like a pretty good place to be. Um, For sure. Oh, and is Matt wastelandless? That would be a... I'm pretty sure Matt's His list is, is, right? Yes, yes, oh. it is. Is it turn one Emery, oh, um... though? Where does he get the blue mana from? Oh, wow. It's not turn one Emery, but it oh, is... Yeah. Counterspell. It's turn two, Emery. No, it's not. Well, no, no. Uh, yes, because you can, you can put Emery on the stack with the seeing the Lotus Petal and then pay the cost. Yeah, this is yeah. announcing the cost or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, is that does that really work? That I way? really. <laughs> Yes, because you, you say mm -hmm. you're casting Emery with the cost reduction. You put it on the stack, and then you pay costs. I see, I see, I see. A very weird uh, ruling, but it does definitely work that way. Yeah. I hate this on Caleb's side, but I guess, you know, you just think Cavern, you're going to guarantee resolve this Dungeoneer. Makes sense, I suppose. Oh, Solitude Evoke Solitude looks is pretty brutal here, honestly. And yeah, Matt is oh, interesting forcing this. I mean, that makes I, sense. You know, yeah. Force whatever comes off that cover in, but. You have to pitch yeah, a sigh, yeah. right? Yeah. It's I mean, not even that he doesn't. I mean, he has the backup Emery, but it's just all in mana wise. So it would just be like a. Yeah. Like a stone rain. It would have been interesting if Caleb hadn't let on Tavern Caleb, basically Caleb. announcing. Caleb. Like, would it. W What's that? No, no, no. Apologies. I was like, Caleb thought. <laughs> I looked like Caleb thought he had a different card in, in, um, in his hand. But nope. He had the pedal for the, for the Seasons Engineer. So all is. All makes sense. All is right with the world. So yeah, now the force on the solitude doesn't look great. But I, I, I think it just needed to happen though, just because otherwise Matt's just not gonna have any mana. He's just gonna untap with a saga that doesn't do anything. And yeah, it's the ability. Like Emery has to dig these petals out of the graveyard right. for Matt to even just have any resources. I don't think you get the initiative, Matt. No. <laughs> No, I mean, th these are two um, notoriously uh, adept Cockatrice players who are... Uh, they love real, to, they love real to talk. track of so many different moving game pieces. It's like we're playing in-person magic when you watch these two play. All right, I'm going to give them big props, though, for not letting us type in the chat, because I was going to give uh, I was going to give some people some, uh, some guff, but <laughs> they wisely did not enable that for spectators. Uh, I believe that that should be mandatory for uh, all show matches, but I guess this is not an official show match, so I will let it slide this time. I Have will you not seen the way Cal the Caleb usually match. makes the games for the feature match, and they like uh, basically he ticks all the boxes that are like spectators can't see hands, spectators can't see the battlefield, can spectators can't see cockatrice, like just turns them all off. Like, uh, I, mean, I don't think be, those are the ones you're supposed to select, Caleb. To be fair, uh, uh, feature match after hours, uh, there really aren't any rules. We can even we can even curse on this recording too. So that's, that's true. true. Do they know? Do they know they're being feature matched too? Well, there's also no consent. Uh, uh, there's a, well, there's a it's a one party consent state in New York City, so <laughs> you know. Um, so whether I they know or not uh, is is irrelevant, immaterial. You vote Eric Adams into office one time, the whole city Never. goes to hell. 
What's yeah, it? I never should have voted for that guy. What's I know, this, right? What's underneath this flip card? It's a gun. <laughs> Let's be real. We all voted all for this, Eric all Adams. This, all this Urza Saga third step. Uh, it's weed. <laughs> it's my son's weed. I mean, it's my weed. I mean, I, I'm a vegan. Don't look in my fridge. Oh, God, I missed that part of Erica. <laughs> that was such a fun chapter. Wait, what happened? Speaking Wait, of fun chapters, there's a saga. Vegan, and then he, they were like, well, why do you have meat in your fridge? <laughs> and he was like, uh... Eric Adams, during the campaign, was, like, claiming a, a New York house or apartment was, like, his main place of residence and he obviously never lived there and like his yes. son was living there it's like a bed so it was like or something like that well, right like but, but, no 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 it was, yeah. it, was actually, it was the opposite it was clearly his house and then when he got called out for eating meat he claimed it was his son's house and they're like Wait, i don't think your son lives in this well like, i thought it was the man. other way oh i thought it was the other way around no wow. that was the whole thing is that they found his fridge and they were like why is there bacon in here <laughs> You know, it's just like a walk-in meat locker. <laughs> just, just all those. We've really huge, gone off like, whatever is happening in this game. Well, I mean, it's, it's taken I, Matt, Matt. It took four minutes to pick his Emory target. Yeah, to be take, fair, it's taken Matt an entire election cycle to uh, to take a game action. So. Yeah, we actually do yeah, have a different is, mayor now. This is really a no-holds-barred uh, after after hours uh, event, oh, no. huh? There's no, there's no decorum in this chat. Hmm. No decorum whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, slurp, slurp away. Yeah, this is a, this is a feature match after hours. No rules. <laughs> no rules, no limits. No, no good place. No time limit on Matt Riley's uh, second turn. <laughs> Most importantly. Sick. So we are being revealed to planes? That's oh, what planes wow. looks like. I will say we have been playing the wish I could type in the chat wrong a little bit. The player who reveals the card also gets to know which card was revealed. We did it that yes. way. Yes, we did it that way, but in games past games we have not been playing that correctly. Mm -hmm. Me and Matt. I know that for a fact. Not like you both play the deck and should know how it works. I say that as someone who had to look up so many initiative rulings left during my match. So I'm is just kidding. Any, to be fair, I don't think there's that much evidence that any of us know how our decks work. Yeah, no, definitely not. Oh, hey, I 100% know what Improvise does. I certainly don't know what my deck does. I like vaguely understand Storm, I think. But also, Storm was such a bad choice that I should have played a deck I understand less. I agree with half that. I think you understand the deck, but I... Yeah, it doesn't seem like it lined up well, but... Why I literally they, had to ask, wait, just do I have... Me? Do... Oh, that's true. Oh, it has been hated out of Legacy, like, very visibly. Um... I think if I were okay, I think if I were in Caleb's seat here, especially after seeing Matt miss the land drop, I would have been super tempted to play the Palace Jailer out and exile the Emery and get the monarch. Exile the Emery and get the monarch. Oof. Yeah, what was that? What was that about? Oh, well, well, <laughs> well. <laughs> don't show more of your deck than you need to. Yeah, you know, open deck <laughs> this tournament. Look it up. Yeah. You know the the good thing about Matt is that while while he is slow uh, with the game actions, he is quick with the scoops. So it's true, especially with the initiative. I think it the deck that irks all of us, but yeah, it definitely kind of breaks his brain. All right, it was, it was just really such a brutal week week one where he and I played a total of like four turns cycles. I kind of like playing against initiative. If any initiative players want to play me, I'm down. Hey, we're matched next week if you like it or not, Talia, so we're definitely gonna play. Yeah, true. I would like to play I would like to play against initiative with a deck that is not Storm. But... I actually would like to play against initiative with someone else's deck too. Yeah, I feel feel like it'd be interesting to I would initiative if you want. 
Like, <laughs> you want to swap for week uh, seven? Let's do it. So I, I think I, Matt should definitely I, bring. It's not running. to not to not to bring this back to to the match. But I, do, I do think <laughs> Use you. Just members. Yeah, I think that these members are clear. Um, maybe even the brazen borrowers. Yeah, I think so. Beyond that, I I I don't know if anything else is really um, consequential. And for for Caleb. I mean, do the are the swords even any good? I mean, I guess I guess on the draw, the chalices probably just should come out. Yeah. So I know when I was hands look good. When I was playing against stack, my deck has a lot more main deck removal, so I play all the swords main in addition, and I was cutting solitudes. To me, I think partly was like. It didn't seem realistic to, to, to like, hard like basically. I feel like I felt like I needed removal for Kappa Cannoneer, and a one mana spell seemed like a you know it's like oh I could see myself paying a four mana tax on top of that, right? right. And in the face of knowing you're, you're knowing these things aren't even going to resolve, so like pitch casting solitude felt worse to me if it just gets countered. Um, Honestly, from how the matchup played, it looked to me like um, creature removal was pretty irrelevant overall, and it's possible that it was correct to decide like all copies of Solitude and Swords out. Yeah, I, I mean, I yeah, it'll be interesting to see like a game where Psy goes off. I still want removal, but it's certainly yeah. not not like my you know my main deck is way too much removal. But like I said, I think I ended up bringing out like four Solitudes. Would y'all rather have swords in than solitude, or would you not even bring swords in? I think um, no, which is I don't. Better. I don't. I don't think I would bring swords in against the eight cast. It's it's so weird because it's like, well, if they're there, they're fine. But like, if they're in your board, there's this feeling of like, I don't want to commit to that. <laughs> if well, like, I you mean, like, I do anything. Archon feels feels great. Spellbinder feels really bad to me. So I've been boarding like that in, in this matchup, but... So we're it's seeing also a, a turn one version. and we get very punished by a turn one chalice on zero? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, not that the Emery had anything to go get. Um, I guess I could have gotten this Lotus Petal, but yeah. Also, this force is looking real bad. Mm. I mean, the force isn't too bad. Like, next turn, in theory, Matt can hard cast it. Um, That's true. That sounds rough. Wait, does... Does Chalice on zero hit? It hits force? I thought force... No, 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 no. It doesn't hit force, no. but um, it, like... Okay, It, it okay. just means that this Emery can't rebuy this pedal. Um, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah. obviously. Yeah. And also, like, Matt doesn't have anything to pitch for the force. And also, yeah, we'll... that is the bigger that is the bigger thing. <laughs> yeah. Interesting that Caleb was rocking the he's rocking the chalice uh, on the draw. I know, I was just bad mouthing chalice on the draw, but here Yeah, he seems really in on it. I guess it looks good here. Chalice is still good on the draw in this matchup. Like, he, yeah, the, Chalice on zero is still so brutal against the eight cast deck. Yeah, and it's it's. I, I wouldn't say it's free, but it feels. I don't know if you can just kind of yeah. throw it out there. It's just such a thing that this deck has to then find an answer to, and this deck's answers to anything are very limited. Yeah, Cavern on cleric, God. Caleb increasing his life total. Every time with this cavern, it's like Matt wasn't going to counter it anyways, but it is funny. It's a funny flex. So, I mean, Chalice kind of is removal for Emery, but if, if Caleb had had a sigh here, that'd be interesting, right? Like, I feel like we're seeing... Caleb had a sigh, that would be really interesting, because he's not All right, if Matt had had a sigh, whatever. 
Also, freaking Saga. I'd love to see Saga get banned and get rid of this deck, too. Well, there's, Speaking of Sai. There's the Sai. A little buck late, a dollar short. Um, yeah. This does not trigger off of artifact land, so. <laughs> Spell is. That is true. So I guess there is a world where he casts Psy, casts the pedal just to get the just to get the uh, the Thopter. I don't know how good that is, but it's a thing. Oh, oh, you can go to. That's true. That's no, that's a good idea. It's not. It's not the worst idea against. Yeah, it's just tap Emery, zero mana, make a Thopter is good. Yeah, but then you don't have, I mean, you don't... You don't have the Karnstruct. You don't real. have the Karnstruct and you don't have Force Up. Uh, probably, yeah. I mean, probably Psy plus a, plus a Thopter is probably still better. Well, yeah. Are you going to land in the... No, I guess he doesn't think so. Yeah. No, I, I, I agree. I think, I think counter... Counter spell and construct. Yeah, the body good. is better. Yeah, yeah, more options for sure instead of blue. Yeah. Although Thalia makes uh, all that a little worse, but you know what are you gonna do? Yeah. Well, what, what are you gonna what do? Are you, what are you even looking to counter here? It seems like like I guess anything. I, I think it's. I think the idea is the yeah. The idea is like you just don't want another body hitting the board because sure. yeah. that's just like the end of the game for you. Like, I have to assume Caleb's playing out the Arkin here, actually. But. I could also see Thalia. I'm not sure Thalia is that impactful at this point. So, do you think it's a force pitching Psy making the construct? No, I think it's. No, I think you need the Psy. I, th I, th I think. If you, I, I think if you pitch. Well, okay, hear me out. If you pitch side to force and you're you can make the construct and you can take back the initiative i don't know how important that is um at this rate but you, i mean you end up with like i guess you end up with two six six constructs but nothing on the board really hmm. really nothing in hand and caleb is also like Uncomfortably close to heart to casting that channeler of the annex, which, yeah, I think I'd be very tempted to force pitch side, make the construct. Yeah. No, Same. Probably correct yeah. to do that. It just, These all feel very close, though. Like I, I don't know what I would have done if I were mad. I just don't. I just don't see a turn next turn where. You let Saga go, you let Saga pop, you cast a Psy, and something else happens that is, like, good enough, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. Yeah, I agree. You can get Spellbomb with the uh, Saga. I'm trying to think what Matt's going to get from the... Spellbomb is pretty pretty nice. You can rebuy that with, yeah. with Emery. Yeah, I think that's good enough, because you're going to, okay, you're going to get the initiative, and you can bounce the creature and make a, yeah, that seems, that's got to be correct, right? Yeah, that seems pretty good. I say gotta, like, I'm super confident in it, which I'm not, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. I like that plenty. It's good. I like that plenty. I mean, of course, the white plume coming down still just takes the initiative back, but, um. Yeah. Opal looks bad here. Not a great draw, but Matt has lots of dead draws because of the uh, the shellies. Because of the shellies. But making his uh, Ursa Saga decision easier. Yeah, Ursa Saga, hell of a card. Just a uh, army in a can. And now, Stack, you're a follower of this style guide, so Matt does something with his Karn Strucks that you were noticing where he never ever gives them yes, power or toughness. I really, it's, it's, it's bold. You enjoy it's this style. It's, yeah. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, it's a bold fuck you to state-based actions, you know? Mm -hmm. It's a wow. shadow spear. Wow. Huh. 
I mean, I like I like it for the race. Um... I will I will say as the as the other eight cast player at the at the table, the the pull of Shadow Spear is always there. Like every single time you pop an Urza song, you're like, but should I just get Shadow Spear? We we were thinking about it in your game. Um, I think you. you yeah, I mean, I would really think you about the, it. Yeah, I think you went for the 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 safer play. Which like unlocked. Your I game. don't know. I I could have seen a, a a world where like the life mattered more. Yeah, but, like game three. Golden Shadow Spear. That game was yours. Was definitely turning the tubes back on. Yeah. Are we talking about game three? Game three. I, I believe so. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. I mean, with open deck lists, I feel like you could have figured out that neither was going to do anything, but where uh... that I didn't have an out. I should say. Where did this thought monitor come from? Uh, the graveyard for memory. Oh, okay. 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 This is okay. pretty nice. Oh, wow. Wow, go off, King. So now we have, uh, I mean, we'll never know how big these constructs are, really, but I, I can count one, two, three, four. It's pretty unknowable, five. really. Six. One shouldn't know. Oh, really, Artifacts are getting argue. sacrificed as you're speaking, six, so good luck with this count. Good luck. Three, four, five, six. Uh, uh, seven, well, so the one is a seven, seven. It's unknowable. <laughs> dear, uh, dear watchers, this, this attacking construct is a seven, seven life linker. Um, there are riddles and there are mysteries. One of them is supposed to be knowable. I can't remember which one's it. Uh, to be fair, I think I like the Shadow Spear play better than the Spellbox. Yeah. Because um, you're getting the initiative no matter what. Um, you aren't at risk. Oh my god, another. <laughs> right. Um, you aren't at risk of him just, uh, Caleb just playing Light Plume Adventure again to get the, the Undercity back. Um, the Thought Monitor, which I completely didn't see, was a very nice play. So yeah, I, I like this a lot. I think what I like here is that you actually have a... As the board stands now, Caleb can't get in, which is right. just a world of difference. Right. And, and if you bounce up White Plume Adventure, I mean, it, it's not a great play, but just playing it um yeah gets it back yeah i actually yeah so. I'm, i've come around on it i guess if you top deck the dungeon to your or if caleb had it in hand that could throw creature could be good here but plus uh i mean matt is definitively winning this race um also doesn't have an understanding yeah i mean he just is next turn lethal right like yeah. that's part we're not talking about is doesn't have an understanding what can caleb own. do to stop that doesn't have an understanding of his own just yet but um he did get the island, so we, we know that it's it's there in spirit. But, you know, we shouldn't be so harsh on them. This is, uh, they, they, it's very possible that they don't even know that they're being recorded, and um, it's uh, it's feature match after hours, so there's no rules. Just gotta I do, them. I am in favor of the person passing as they make the token and do all the things for, for time's sake, so. Yeah. I'm pro that part of it, but, yeah, it doesn't actually look like Matt's going to make the Undercity. I mean, to be fair, probably as a show of strength, honestly, to just say the game's over. Yeah, to be fair, these are two very busy lords. Um, you know, <laughs> Caleb uh, has homework that needs to finish, and it's a school night. Mm -hmm. um, so it is. We need to we need to keep that in mind. Um, you know, we need to respect that. We need to respect and I don't that. think that's something that we, you know, respect enough as a group. Yeah, and Matt Matt Shirley being an LA. And it's like like. Seventh grade is tough. It's very tough. It's very tough for for for, for plenty of reasons. We we all remember. Um, and and Matt surely has a like a you know a sunset or a sun a sunrise uh, dusty hike. To um, yeah. Uh, it, that he's that he's uh, has to go on. Um, he's got thir thirteen dogs to wash, and he has to get a custom smoothie per dog. Yeah, so. yeah, he's, he's he's got some sun salutations to do at the top of the of the Hollywood Hills. Um, yeah, uh, tomorrow morning. So he's he's got he's got to, he's got to, he's got to do some perineum sunning. Yeah. Um, that being said, we've got some big boards. Those thought casts are both getting cast for sure. 
Oh yeah, Matt. Matt. Uh, Matt has never. Uh, about casting him. Matt has never turned down a, a draw spell in his life, um, even if he doesn't need to see the cards. So. In his, fa- I mean, you know, Caleb could have white card solitude here. So. And you know, sometimes you shouldn't thought cast. Some might even say. It might be the, uh, in fact, worst thing you could possibly do. What are you talking about? This is the thing that no one witnessed in which, uh, in the last turn of game three against Matt, I thought casted uh, when I didn't necessarily need to. uh, And in doing so, drew no blue spells, uh, but still had my force of will in my hand, uh, which I could have used that thought cast as force of will fuel. And then he played a Kappa Cannoneer and I lost. Nice. Mm. Yeah. Hey, Brazen, that's helpful. Brazen is nice here. Otis Petal, just... I assume Matt hasn't played a land. No. Lotus Petal, the third dead card in in hand, so... That's true. I'm thinking that you can, but you can't even get him on the battlefield, so... The real question is, how long does he wait to cast the other thought Yes. How long can you go snapping, without casting the... Snapping off the other thought cast. Like, you know. Snapping off. Uh, as, as a broken clock is uh, is is uh, right two times a day, Matthew will draw cards when, uh, when physically capable. Yeah, I think, I mean, Matt's got, basically got it all, all, um... Oh, <laughs> I mean... A thought monitor? We can't really blame Matt here. I Again, this is on Caleb. Caleb should have scooped. Yeah, yeah. The book I mean, report's not going to write itself. <laughs> you know you're dead 100%. Yeah, but th- this is the this is the folly of youth, you know. Um, mm. Caleb's yeah, critical thinking skills... Caleb's, uh, is, Caleb's, Caleb's actually, a really good magic player, but his critical thinking skills have not... Um, and, and time management skills have not fully developed you know, uh, with his I, cortex. I, I think we're also coming at this from the perspective of adults, and we forget that Caleb is actually taking this time to read Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. <laughs> I just wonder so if maybe, like... Scooping, he doesn't even realize he could scoop. He's just really, like, learning about, you know, why everyone gets their first period, and it's Okay. Yeah. It doesn't make him weird. And 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 listeners and and viewers, it is okay. So just make sure that you know. Um, all right. So uh, and that, that's, that's a promise from the Lord. That's a promise from the, from the Lord. From our lips to your <laughs> it's for the Lord. Are you there, Lord? It's me, Margaret. <laughs> Are you there, Gonti? It's me, Margaret. From our lips Honestly, to God's ears. Great um, oh, Kayla, please scoop. No, Caleb's lining up the blocks. Um, Draven uh, Thalia has first strike, so that's um, that's not nothing. I mean, it's nothing, but yeah, I, I know what you mean. <laughs> what's what's the count on these? Are they first six, strike six? is pretty irrelevant here. Say that again. <laughs> Say that again, Thalia. I would tend to agree that yes, the first strike is irrelevant here, but mm. and that's coming from a judge, so. Yeah. Yeah. That was the damage. Uh, the damage phase. Not that we would ever know. Uh, <laughs> What's yeah. happening? Well, Matthew's just with just raffle stomping this game, and and Caleb. Uh... Well, Matt has an ability on Shadow Spear called Life Link, which is whenever he deals that creature deals damage. Matthew Not to put too much thought into this, but why why wouldn't you brazen to deal the lethal trample damage there when you have force backup? And opponent would have step to take out. two, and then he would be at 17 instead of 19. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's my bad. Thank you, Stack. So from the context... You can never be too careful when your opponent's tapped out and you have force backup. You don't want to be hasty. <laughs> So I'm always Matthew, saying that. Matthew drawing more I think cards. It's a theoretical equity of not showing that he brought um Brazen Borrower in. That's actually well, a good answer, Talia. Yeah, yeah. A little too much of this, I think. No, that is a very map thing, and I would do the same. Okay. I agree with that. 
in I, theory. I will say from from context clues, which is a concept that Caleb will be learning in um, in in uh, senior English next uh, tomorrow. Uh, Matt <laughs> next is, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I think Matt uh, Matt is on uh, Forge the Forge Room of the Undercity, and I can I know this again. This context clues because of the two counters on the thought monitor, but that's uh, that's that's game two. <laughs> Um, what does it mean? What is the context clue for Caleb uh, scooping? <laughs> How can we tell that this happened? Context clues uh, that I can no longer see any uh, game cards, board, or actions being cast. I think that means that uh, Caleb has scooped for for game two. Uh, no doubt worrying about his um, uh, his uh, reading response. That will was... now proposed to restart the game. His, probably his signaling, five paragraph essay. Yeah. Most likely signaling that he has not adjusted his sideboard at all. We may question the merits of hovering before choosing to restart the game, start the next game a bit in order to bluff that you have changed your sideboard plan, but here we are. Again, I think we're giving far too much credit to these players i don't know i mean talia uh, like matt had clearly has seen uh, mississippi grind more than once and knows about uh you know, <laughs> the... i will i would i would stake some amount of money that talia has seen mississippi grind exactly 50 percent of one time <laughs> when it was on in the background of the last retreat <laughs> You know, could, uh, context clues. We were we were in the basement. I don't I don't exactly. think people were watching it. All right, so then less Man, than percent. <laughs> Maybe I was being generous. Wait, what have I not seen? Uh, just a movie, just a just a poker movie. No, 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 Taylor, Taylor, give us a quick synopsis. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> Taylor's too busy memeing in the in the um, in the chat. Put that on the the video stream. Yeah, yeah. It's coming, Scroll it's, over it's to the Discord over. for the uh, Gotti. Taylor just had a really uh, crucial um, rules uh, rules check. Um, this is helping game. for the future games. Oh my God, I saw, yeah. Just in case, in case any of the watchers are wondering, um, uh, rule one hundred four point three a: a player can concede the game at any time, and a player who concedes the game. Uh, he leaves the game immediately. That player loses the game. Uh, and then section 104.3b, if a player's life total is zero or less, that player loses the game. Next time a player would receive priority. Um, I think the, the piece of this particular rule that we're really focusing on is a player can concede the game at any time. Um, but, you know, the, reading, comprehension, the reading comprehension is, is, a, is a lost uh, art these days um all right game three is underway opening hands have been drawn um interesting mm. interesting I interesting think interesting on on kind of both sides both are not fully where they want to be i think caleb's probably a little bit closer i would probably keep if i was caleb oh, or guess... maybe mulligan if he was already on his second mulligan for some reason I guess he's already on a mulligan. Yeah, I would keep that as a six for sure from Caleb, but Oh yeah. Well just on the interesting yeah. on Matt's side. On the on the Archon um turn one Archon. Right? No, no, he doesn't have turn one Archon. Turn turn two Archon still seems. Yeah. We need the we need to see Matt make the heads up play too of playing out the zero man artifacts. I don't I don't want to see you, him not cast the opals out. Mm, I've I seen Lords not do it this league, for sure. Yes, or maybe I was. Yeah, Matt, I think you only you, know. you only kind of hold them if you can see a line to a sigh or a. a that's a cap. Yeah. otherwise they're there. Yeah, to, I guess that's an argument. They're there to fuel those things. I mean, Matt, yeah, Matt but you know, been... Caleb at least had them in on the draw, even so. Some some um some insider baseball knowledge. Matt has been playing quite a bit of um, there we go. affinity <laughs> modern in modern. So I think he is very comfortable with playing zero mana artifacts um, when he's got them. So. 
but is keeping this Mox Opal in hand. Obviously, it's not going to matter because we don't see a Chalice on Caleb's side. Oh, that was the Chancellor text. I was wondering what that was. Yes, that was the Chancellor. Yeah. Right classic, yeah. classic t Chancellor tax. The the Palpatine dream, so to speak. I thought he was foreseeing the Archon so that the land came out tapped, but. <laughs> you thought, yeah. Just... yeah. Caleb actually uh, used good. the foretell ability on Archon that nobody uh, can see or read. <laughs> well, no matter what, that Archon is going to cost a matter of construct, which could definitely matter. It's a good point. I definitely think if you're Matt, you'd rather see Archon because it cleanly gets answered by Dismember, whereas like the initiative ones don't. But it's oh, a good point. It's it's gonna cost a I mean Matt I think is I think Matt has got a Hey, some of us were willing to pay six for a dismember on an Archon, so yeah, you paid a lot for them. So. I mean Matt's still got some play here, right? Like has Matt's got a like dismember the Archon, play out the Mox, play out the seat, and he's got three banded to play with, so he could play the Psy I think I think at that point he probably has enough mana for the thought cast. Um, let's let's hover over Archon first though before we we make some of those plans. Yeah, I, I think I got to kill that before you. The yeah, triple yeah. Spell. I, I think you're killing it with dismember as soon as possible. Okay. And then and then you can go opal seat. You know, either. Yeah, side yeah. I, th I think Matt's gonna be good. Like that. Yeah, yeah, I thought no, you were saying. I'm not seeing any way to turn on Opal this turn. Uh, seat plus Opal? Yeah, can't um, double Opal. Oh, duh, of course. Yeah, it's tough. That's... Just passing the second main. Very savvy. This is like when you uh, F6 in in MTGO and, and, and are able to quickly reverse it. Um, oh, back to the draw step. Back to the draw. Okay, yeah. Okay. This is a pro move. This is a pro move. <laughs> I will this draw. Looks, I will this draw. looks really good. I will draw again. Back to my draw step. I think we missed Matt casting Nexus of Fate uh, yeah, during his upkeep. Matt definitely did draw a card. Honestly, I think that's a valid question that we're not really engaging with. Why is eight cast not playing Nexus of Fate? Thank you. <laughs> many, Thank you. many people are asking this. <laughs> um, many Magic the Gathering players. So, yeah. all I'm saying is that the deck is visibly more than capable of mana acceleration. And it could use the extra win condition if it runs out of cards because it has a control plan. Nexus of Fate is perfect. <laughs> All right. It has a control plan in that it runs four counter spells. I don't know that it's like Everybody, we should, able to control a lot of what's going on on the board. We should make sure that we've noticed that we're back. We've we've gone back to main phase. One. What's happening? We've gone what's to main two. No. Casting an ancient. Who's tomb main two? Well, oh, Matt. You get, you I kind of hope. I kind of hope Caleb. I kind of hope Caleb drew the, the uh, Caleb with the with the dig in uh, in the chat. I don't know if slow and steady wins the race in this match. I don't know what that means, but um, Caleb is. But it is brutal. Is the thing about it, the the boy. I would really have loved to see Caleb draw a touch the spirit realm to to punish Matt for this dismember punt, because I don't think you're supposed to pass the turn there. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I mean, maybe Matt said, like, listen, let me draw another card. I'll go back to my draw phase. I won't cast this kill spell. Yeah, I don't know. You gotta fire off the dismember now. I don't know what you're doing if you're not doing that. Yeah, but now we're seeing this house... Jailer with no target, and the monarch's gonna be real hard to take through those solitudes. Yep. Okay, so we've got a we've got a dismember after you've already taken two damage from the archon, after you've already had a mana uh, land come and tapped. I've got another ancient tomb. 
Saga's going to three here. You never heard of 3D ch chess, is your problem, Cosme. You don't see the game like Matt sees the game. Well, Matt certainly thinks that. So. For, how, for example, how many times do you usually take your main phase two? Because I'm going to guess it's like once, like a loser. <laughs> and you really should be taking it at least twice. Preferably with a draw step in the middle. An extra draw step. Have you ever seen the Queen's Gambit where she can see the chess board on the ceiling that's like matt matt sees that's phases. Matt, basically. matt sees the character yeah. spaces on the ceiling okay yeah. don't talk to me about queen's gamut seeing the chessboard on the ceiling because uh y'all nerd slash film folks don't even know that that is a chess uh a, a, a movie trope oh wow Damn. and they took that from matt or Damn, Cosme's chess explaining to us. Yeah, yeah, Fuck no, that. that that's a that's a that's a chess media trope. Um, I first saw it in Searching for Bobby Fischer, Lawrence Fishburne, where the kid is playing chess in his head by looking at the ceiling and bouncing a ball. So, Crazy, uh, he's a huge if true. Wow, not it's not it's not huge if true. It is true. So yeah, yeah that's, that's huge if true. Yeah. It is true, guys. It's true. Yeah, that would be huge. <laughs> if it was true. Don't come at us like you have some obscure chess movie, too, and name the most uh, the most basic chess hey, movie. Hey, 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 to his credit, I have not seen this film, so... For I'm just saying, that's like the one chess film everyone knows. Okay, you can really punish Matt here by um, solituding the construct token in response. Ooh, no, Saul's hitting the mm. doctorist. Why, why, why were you saying the construct token? No, oh, uh, the the. Why were you saying the construct token? Take Matt off Metalcraft. Mm. Yeah, it takes Matt off of Thoughtcast. Um. Yeah. Or not. That's one of those hard decisions. Like if we if we couldn't see the hands, maybe it would be different. But I think you're right. It's. But I like Matt's position. It's not bad. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. That's you know what would have helped a lot here? Torpor Orb. That's a gaudy. That's a spicy... Yeah. That's a spicy meatball. Why would you... Yeah. you got, yeah, okay. We were all like, hold on. You gotta, you gotta do it. You gotta <laughs> play it off the, the cavern, my boy. I want a Lorana saga so bad too. That's when you're really doing it. Well, the good thing about oh the Thopter, huh? Going for the thing that has evasion. I mean, I guess the 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 thing about the the construct token is that it's only a zero zero, so it's really not threatening. Um, it's really um, not threatening anything uh, too serious. Ooh, the Chancellor off the Monarch was really good in terms of, um, well, I guess I guess the Ameria is also counts as a card to pitch to Solitude. Yeah. Oh, well, this have the same casting cost. I mean, what's... Vigilance Angels? Yeah. I mean, I can't, you know, it's hard to know who's actually ahead. Like, Caleb is drawing an extra card each turn. And I guess Matt is like, my, Matt's life total is pretty low. Yeah, I guess Caleb is still pretty far ahead. Um, that being I have a question. If you're, if you're Caleb, you've already kind of, like assigned like you, you're definitely gonna solitude the karn right yeah i think so because you can't block it why not do it and then attack so there's actually a good argument for not solituding the construct honestly yeah um, what's that what's what we're about to see like mm. a copa can near coming down is a much better solitude target 
Well, it's got that, it's got that huge ward. This is the problem. Sure, but Caleb has four mana. Hmm. But he doesn't have. Yeah. Them. So lose yeah. the monarch, pass it back, and then yeah, that's true. You lose the monarch here like that, like. I'm sure Caleb would be more than comfortable chumping. Well, yeah, I guess I'm not sure that he's not going to chump. I guess I'm also putting Matt on having double tomb. Like, I feel like the race, the damage is... Matt's in a painful spot. I mean, if you're Matt... I think if Matt goes for Shadow Spear, I wouldn't be surprised to see um, the Solitude getting fired off here. Yeah, I guess he could want to bait him for this. Which is a really good argument for it. Mm. So Matt's going to gain zero life? Is that how this works? No, somehow he gained three. Um, hmm. Interesting. Wow, so he does know how big they are. It's not a... Uh... No, it's an Matt's, Matt, Matt's edge shooting. You know, if if his opponents don't know how big they are, you know, it's really hard to play. Um, it's really hard wow. to play. Oh, but this does take Matt off of Ken near this turn. Hmm, I guess that is true. Should have played the seat first so that you would have gained another life. Okay. That's true. That's true. I got a prediction. I think Caleb's drawing Caracas for for more Loran uh, fun. That's my guess. Oh god. So what do you think Matt's doing here? Are we seeing this thought monitor? I'd, I'd be tempted for the thought monitor. Wait, can he? I, I guess wait. Can he even cast, cast the thought monitor? Two, three, four. Yes. Five, six. Yeah. Oh, Force of Will is a good hit. Gotta say, this game's nicely poised. Oh. Huh, that's an interesting chalice. Yeah, but... Uh, T formation here from Caleb. Uh, the chalice, I mean, a chalice on zero is, is still fine, but it's not it's not doing a whole lot. I think I'm... Oh, I was going to say, I was I was thinking of trading, but I guess with the Kappa Cannoneer. Um, priced, into, yeah. priced into letting the damage... Ooh! Go. That is another solitude. We're doing a Loran. Oh, boy. Let's... Oh, the I Lauren believe the kids control. say, let's go. Yeah. Oh, wow. Let's, let's go. Pretty, pretty. Pretty good. Uh, though, wait a minute. Can Matt can force of will the evoke? Um, yeah. The evoke cast. Matt okay. can definitely still force of will, but right now we're going to be watching him fix. Mm, Chrome. This has been a very good game. It has. Yeah, this was a sweet one. So Matt can take back Monarch here um, with the classic yeah. move to you know, so we don't even see any new no, the classic no game act no um no spells cast in main phase one move to main phase two. Classic pass to pass to combat or move to combat. Okay, no attacks. Main phase two. Go back to combat. Swing, take the monarch. Go to end step. You forgot to go back. That you forgot the, the part. Go to draw. Was, yeah, go back to draw, draw. step. Draw step two. Play land. I don't think we're gonna see. Let's see. The clock is at one o five fifty five seconds. I don't think we're gonna see an attack before one o seven. That's my guess. It will give it 60 seconds. Oh, 
Oh. Wow. Oh. Should have taken the the under on that. Yeah, it's with the. No one took the other side of that bet. Interesting. Attacking without Shadow Spear is kind of fascinating. A little bit surprised Caleb did not. Put yeah. His side out there. Wasn't that interesting? Yeah. That's kind of a. Chal I guess Chalice also is interesting here because Matt can't cast Lotus, which would have helped with the Kappa Cannoneer improvise. Yeah. The Chalice is definitely forcing Matt to use ancient tombs that he really does not have the. <laughs> And yes, it is possible that Caleb is choosing not to solitude because he does not want to give Matt the life. Um, yeah, that's a really good that's a really good point. Or he's going to solitude a blocker, perhaps. Yeah, either way I think this this actually is a good line. Yeah, I'd love to see what Matt draws on his draw step, too. Seems like he's got so many cards in the end, but he's still... Yeah, I don't know. Well, which, which draw step slash which still, name? Still, still struggling. Oh. oh. All right, Captain Cannoneer, full cost. No improvise. I think the spear tapped for it. Oh, that's right. Sorry, that's right. Yeah. Do you fire off this the the solitude on this Kappa cannon here? I think you must. Wait, yeah. 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 And then I think you definitely force, probably pitching Emery. This is complicated because force pitching Emery leaves Matt remarkably dead to, for instance, a seasoned Dungeoneer. That's true. That said, Matt is pretty dead to seasoned Dungeoneer anyway, so... Yeah, what would gaining five... So you'd go to nine... Is there any world where that's better? Hmm. Matt did forget to draw off of the monarch. We'll see how that... Did Matt forget... No, Matt did draw... Did Matt draw off the monarch? Uh, I am not seeing it. No, I think he just drew off the second draw phase. I don't think he did the, the monarch. I might... What is happening? He's used to know. Oh, he got it. He got it. Unless... No, that might have been Loran draw. Yeah, that was a Loran draw. I think he just drew... And why, why is the palace jailer tapped? Was oh, this end step? No. Caleb attacked. Caleb attacked with both. Matt blocked the... Uh, Oh. Uh, and now Matt's force of wills are really off until, of course, he equips the Shadow Spear. But Caleb also has the Monarch back. This is... Oh, well, Matt's kind of won. Yeah, this is tense. It is. Matt is going to be able to regain quite a bit of life with that Shadow Spear. Yeah. Oh, but there's a White Plume Adventurer. And introducing the initiative to this game. Is almost certainly going to help Caleb out quite a bit. Don't tap Ancient Tomb.
So I, yeah, it's gotta be a Shadow Spear equip. Live life is something. There's a, yeah. Or it's going to be sex life. Right? Yeah, six. Yeah, yeah, it'll be six. Seven if Matt plays up the Thought Monitor here. It looks like we're going to see. Oh, so, Willie, are you still on the, on the call? Oh, yeah, I'm here. Can you... Can you taste it? Do you feel like you you might be in the number one slot in a second here? I don't know. I could see I could see Caleb still pulling this out, but for sure. I'm just curious if you're. Well, I I think it I think it's also I was just thinking about that too. Of like, if Caleb does lose, but then be me. That would be. Yeah, then it'll be really messy. And I, I, I do think that he's better situated for that. How, do we, how are we doing tiebreakers? Um, the, the melee has a bunch of tiebreakers that they record. Um, it's like opponent, sure. match win, percentage, blah, 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 blah. Like the yeah. classic. Uh... Okay, right, so but like OMW doesn't quite apply as normal because like everyone's playing each other. I started looking that up, and that's funny, and then I, I stopped, but I that occurred to me, too, so there's no... Yeah. yeah the I, first thing that you use for tiebreakers is just... Is it totally moot, or...? Well, yeah, every... If two players have the same record, they're going to have the same OMW. Is there a difference to, like, who you lose to? to? What? Oh, sorry, sorry, you go ahead. Which means that in, if done normally, it'll just automatically go to game win percentage, which, like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forget exactly how they set up the tiebreakers, but one of the reasons why I wanted to use melee is because they they could track all that stuff without me having to figure it out in Excel. Um, yeah. Okay, the Psy as a follow-up instead of the extra thought monitor. I kind of like this and play the Lotus Puddle, even though it gets countered. Well, technically Caleb needs to Say that it's countered. Chalice check. Does Matt is Matt chalice checking Caleb right now? Okay, that would be really good. <clears throat> Lotus petal doesn't resolve. Sure. Huge power move. Oh, and the follow-up thought monitor. That's this is a great turn. Yep. But this is the classic uh, low willy risky thought monitor. Oh! Is it at the blue card? Oh, stack! Oh, are you watching? So... Oh my god! And the monarch doesn't hit a blue card. Wow. Wait, I may be I may be offline. I may have gotten booted. <laughs> Because I'm like, nothing's happening. What do you mean? Are you still looking at the opening hands? Oh, yeah, you got to yeah, refresh. Yeah, yeah. You got to refresh. We're a little past that now. <laughs> so Matt currently has a forcible sitting in hand, but nothing to pitch to it. Um, oh. Yeah, okay, Matt's hand is two also. ancient tombs, two islands, force of will. If that's not what you're seeing. Oh, I, I, I left. I'm, I'm reopening. Well, I'm narrating it for you like a radio play. I do love that. And I appreciate it. I mean, I think, I think hmm. Caleb feels just dead here. The white plume. Oh, interesting. I don't believe Caleb can survive this. Yeah, this feels oh. like an arena scoop where you saltily swing with your creatures then concede don't know what he's trying to do here is this the first time initiative is in the game on turn like 20 yeah so we know that chapter doesn't do anything
Yep, this is when they choose to mark it. <laughs> well, no, no. Caleb, Caleb always marks it this way. Um, well, there it is. Yeah. GG's. Brutal. Eight cast. Two two times tonight. Taking down the big bad uh, initiative. No one saw this coming. No one saw this coming. A real twist in the tail. Two, two lords uh, Matthew making who were in the three-way tie for, for first place, too. Matthew making sure he moves to combat so. and then uh, tapping very specifically. Caleb could just scoop, knowing that he's dead on board. But he won't. No, he's trying to show. He's 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 sending a message. And there it is, folks. GG's. Oh, it goes. Brutal. Brutal. Well. And like that, Stack was the only uh, Lord left with one loss. Yeah, and like, uh, it's, it's almost like it's not that hard. I don't really know what's, uh, what's wrong with the rest hey. of y'all. <laughs> Careful there. Wow. Well, you know, who knew that watching two eight cast initiative uh, matchups in one night would be so much fun. Um, yeah. I attribute that to 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 all of the friends who who, who came along. Wow. Uh, funny. Matthew Riley, funny the welcome, welcome, welcome. Whoa. I did not know I was just going to get a little like surprise feature match here. A yeah, this dip, is this is uh, this is this is feature match after hours where there are no rules. Um, no rules, no, no rules. limits, no filters. Yeah. I should have you guys no, should have told me that no before the game. No construct counters. Um never never have a construct well, counter. They don't get counters cuz me. Yeah, they don't uh, get counters. Sorry. They just have a they I have an effect. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That, that must have been annoying. No, no, started. no rules. No, no rules. No, no scruples. No. Yeah, we can't counts. be mad at it. That's no, after hours. The artifact <laughs> count is. The artifact I draw seven count cards individually. So. Yeah. Yeah. Every know, time wow, you try to the, count the artifacts. The it... Well, Caleb, the the count, the drawing the cards individually is uh is your signature move. So. Yeah, that was hot. I gave Caleb props on that. That's a power That's... move. He doesn't scry that way, uh, but he does. Um, he does draw his first seven that way. How would I scry that way? Or not scry, like, sorry, uh, you know, like like mulligan that way. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, but there's like an easy button for mulligan. It's the same button. <laughs> you can do that for the opening <laughs> seven, too. <laughs> the same? Oh, yeah, but there's an easy button for that. Um, All right. Got it. I unfortunately have to head out before any conversation, so... Damn. Well, yeah, you've got school. It's all right. We understand. None of it was going to yeah, be nice. Yeah. So. You, That'll be up at 8 a.m. If you need us to look over your homework, just let us know. <laughs> okay, I'll send it in. Uh, I'll send it in chat. Perfect. Perfect. All right, I guess. All right, later. Adios, Caleb. Keep good games. Juju's Caleb. Good news. Um. Well, Matt, how'd you feel about that win? I feel, uh, you know, the. The let's get this over with chat. Um, we we were, oh, yeah. we were we were we were I, thinking I, you were we had a kind of defeatist um, a stance from the beginning. I ate, I, I ate my words. Uh, I ate my words for sure. Um, yeah, that, I mean that was very surprising. Um, I was in such a mood to just get over with that. I feel like I didn't even think much about my first hand game one. Which I don't know. I'm curious to hear if Little Willie would have mulliganed that. Um, um, but, uh, I don't fully remember it, but I, I I do remember being complimentary of it. Okay. I do um, think I also would have kept it if it's the one I'm thinking of, and I think I may have said exactly that. Um, I think I got uh, pretty lucky 
um, you know, I feel like I, Caleb not having like nuts hands game two and game three was very lucky. Ch- I was puzzled by the that Chancellor of the uh, Annex uh, card. Is that in Caleb's main main deck? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the initiative deck basically needs to play like a a certain number of white like, cards. You I just need a bunch of you just need a bunch of white cards that you can pitch to. Uh, oh, what's percentage. it called? Mox and and, or, and Chrome Mox. Okay. Yeah, so Chrome Mox okay. first, but also but, yeah, and that's just you know it's more of like a yeah like a little lock piece that's sure. you know. The same way that one land is really not there. It's like a white land that you could also, it's like a spell that you can pitch to. Right, um, right, 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 right. But yeah, Chancellor is just, yeah, it is a, it's a little funny. It feels a little more like Death and taxes mm-hmm. doesn't it? But, uh, um, and then, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I just got, I got really lucky. I just had very lucky, uh, draws and, um, I mean, my hands game two and game three were just really strong too. I think I just had very lucky opening hands. Um, it's funny. I, I I feel like the first turn where I really was just like tanking in that last game was was the turn where I was just like trying to weigh the odds of of Caleb having Argon of Amiria um, to follow up right with me playing the saga. To negate me of to you know the turn one saga to negate me of getting uh being able to get an extra token out of it which which he did end up having but the dismember the was clutch thankfully I had that though it's funny yeah I guess the um is there a reason you didn't fire I it get... off uh, on your turn or on the yeah well I couldn't uh, because I had to tap my oh why I didn't play on my turn oh I guess. You know, in case there was some world where he could double spell, I don't know. I guess that's not something that the monarch does, uh, that the initiative deck does very often. But on the off chance that there was like a chrome mox in his hand plus a creature, um, and and then I didn't think there was any any re- any reason I would get punished for doing it on his turn. That makes sense. I think um, the big one that occurred to us was the uh, was the enchantment that you can channel that he could he could yeah. just flicker to response. So yeah, sure. Um, I mean, I was always gonna. I guess if he just didn't play anything and then passed, that would have gotten me. But i I would have been I would have been shocked if he, uh, you know, if he didn't like tap out to play a spell because that costs two mana that effect, right? Yeah, the and yeah, but then it, it comes back, like, and, uh, and you he could then play other spells, and you're, yeah. Oh, you're saying that he would just value channel it to get around the the claws? I'm confused. Hmm. We're we're saying when you were gonna play when you were gonna play dismember, he would just flicker it in response with touch the spirit realm. Sure, sure. But uh, what I, I guess my sure. I think there's. Yeah, also... I mean, I, I, I... Sorry, go on. No, I was gonna say yes. Of course, that definitely was a scenario where I could have been punished. I guess I just would have been surprised if he would have just kept the two mana open and then passed the turn back to me and not just like land one of the three or four mana initiative creatures or or the the palace jailer, which he ended up playing. I think the reason why I was asking is, is it looked, and I can't remember exactly, but it looked like there was maybe some lines in that turn where you could have um, dismembered and then not faced the the lands coming in tap attacks and actually played another spell. Um, I forget. Yeah, you had like baubles or you had some zero mana stuff that was kind of locked in hand by that. No, I don't think so. I mean, I don't. I don't think I had. Uh, I think the only thing I had was like a, re- a redundant Chrome Mox or a Mox Opal. I mean, 
Yeah, I actually don't think he had that, but I do think it's just strictly a punt, given that there's a, that I guess it's just, is just Caleb only run two touch? This, that's weird now that I'm looking at, but either way. Yeah, I, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'm owning up on the punt, for sure. Yeah. I guess I just... I, I yeah. also feel like, Matt, if you had watched me in the the same matchup against Taylor, take six to, to do that exact line, where mm-hmm. I used a uh, I had to use a ancient tomb, oh, <laughs> God. Yeah, and then a yeah. full cost on a dismember on the same creature. Mm-hmm. I think you would have been like, I can do it. I can take it. I see. I feel That's like Stack cool. took like upwards of like sixteen damage just <laughs> by themselves that game, and I still couldn't put together a W. So it was quite yeah, fun. that was a, that was here's, here's your biggest punt, Matt. Why didn't you draw? And play Torpor Orb. Yeah, Torpor Orb. It was a, it was a huge, huge. Is punt. the card of the night. So. Yeah, I was wondering that as well. That was a real. That was a real punt. Big punt, not drawing that one. Or gloom. Yeah, that's so. That's so funny. Gloom had no effect on the games, but Torpor Orb was. Hey, hey, hey! Gloom made it one to cast that one Amirius call. No, so, I don't have triple white. I wait, still this... have triple white. Is the uh, stack? Do you run torpor orb in your sideboard? Yeah, I, I run oh, two, and I here? drew both. I drew them both games. Oh, so who? So so you got it against Taylor. I, I did get it. Oh wow, wow, wow! Eight. It cast. was a big night a for night? eight cast boys. What a night for the robots! Yeah, and guess um, and guess what? Next week we've got a showdown. Taylor or not Taylor? Um, Lil Will versus Caleb. For the for the for the for the round the throne, so there might just be Which three we'll see. three we'll eight cast versus technically initiative. Technically, right now, technically right now, I'm the I'm the top dog, but I have no idea what happens. I you know what? I'm not going to worry hey, about Caleb, it. I'm not going to worry about Caleb, what happens if I lose because I'm not going to lose. Caleb's the 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 second finalist, even with the two losses for me and and Rob. Interesting. Well. Yeah. Yeah, unclear actually. Uh, also, please, right now, please Stack report is your the matches. Only one but then, if Caleb beats Stack, then those two both have two losses. I guess then it goes back to a three-way tie. If I win, if you're playing Tali, you're gonna win. What? <laughs> hey now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it was mean, but I don't know. That might not be true. Your deck doesn't have counter spells, so good luck. It definitely has like the hate. Taylor, I will literally play our matchup now if you want to see. <laughs> no, no, I'm so tired. I, I really don't want to. <laughs> no well, weapons, no, nothing personal. I, I think I think with the with that call out for for next week. Um, it's uh, it's as good a time as any to say, uh, stay tuned for the conclusion of, of uh, the Lord of Luxury Constructed League round two uh, legacy. So um, before you leave, you know, bop that like, subscribe, um, and follow oh, us on our uh, ring, ring so, on our social media channels. Um, ring the bell. Uh, yeah, uh, turn that bell on to so get notifications when we drop the a bell, new video. Call your mother. Uh, brush your teeth. Definitely call your mom. Um, all that. So, oh, you're not going to be home for supper tonight. That's right. Anyway, uh, good night and good luck.